You guys have seen it on my videos, you guys have seen it on my streams, and you've asked me hundreds of times. The Synchro, how do you do those fancy lower thirds that you have popping up during your videos and your streams? Well, my friends, I got just a treat for you. Y'all have done so much for me in the past few weeks, so I thought I might do something nice in return for you all. I've made a template so you can do those animations with a lot of ease. We're gonna go through it tonight. How's it going guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is The Synchro. Lower thirds, these little animations over here that you've seen pop up throughout my videos or throughout my streams are a good way to promote your brand and your socials in a subtle and non-intrusive way. There are hundreds of different lower thirds there, each varying in different design and style. Tonight I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make my lower thirds for yourselves using a template that I've prepared for you guys. This template's going to be available for you guys on my Discord, so head over there and make sure you grab that. We also got a bunch of other stuff completely free for you guys to use. This is my gift to you guys for being my little pog champs. Come here. We're also gonna be learning how to render them and how to add them to your YouTube videos and your streams. Guys, if this video ends up helping you in any way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, share it around with your friends so they can learn something new too. All right, so first, let's talk about what we need in order to make this work. So this template is for Adobe After Effects. So we're gonna be using that today. If you don't have Adobe After Effects, I'm really sorry. I'm not too sure if there is an alternative to After Effects. If you know any alternatives, to Adobe After Effects that is free or more easily affordable for others, please put it down in the comments so then we can actually help some other people out. We're also going to be needing the WebM for Premiere plugin. It's a completely free plugin that allows you to render videos out as WebMs. Link of it is gonna be on the description. Just a very quick summary about WebMs. They're a super lightweight video file that has an invisible background and we're gonna be using those so we can add them to our streams. And one last thing, we're also going to need Adobe Premiere or Media Encoder so we can render these out as WebMs. All right, so assuming you have these things ready to go, Let's begin. So open up the template and the first thing you should see is a composition with the words template written in it. Head over to your layers and you should see two items, a text one that says change me and another one that says copy contents. First things first, click the little arrow where it says copy contents and then click the little arrow where it says contents. You should see stroke one and repeater one. Select both of them and control C. Next, double click the change me text and change it to your name of choice. Then right click, go to create, create shape from text. Then select the brand new outline layer that was created and control V. And as you can see, our name now has the black strokes around it. That's it. That's all you had to do. When I said I made this shit easy for you guys, I meant it. <laughs> I made sure it was as convenient as possible for you guys to add to your socials. Okay, now we need to render them. On the projects tab, there should be a folder called renders. Open the folder if it's not opened already and let's choose a render. We're gonna go with YouTube for this one. Once you open it, head over to file on the top left, go over to export and add to render queue. Here you can choose what you want to render them as and we're going to be rendering them as a PNG sequence. PNG sequences are every single frame of the video rendered as its own PNG, as its own image. This makes it super, super easy for you to add them to videos and it also doesn't take a lot of space on your hard drive. All right, to do this, on your render settings, make sure you select best settings and on the output module, change it from lossless to TIFF sequence with alpha. Then click the text that says TIFF sequence with alpha and a new menu will pop up. Head over to format at the top and click on the drop down box and select PNG sequence and then click OK. Then head over to output two, click on it and select where you want to save it. Then click render and let it do its thing. All right, we're done with the rendering. Now it's time to learn how to add them to your videos. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to add them to three different softwares. We're gonna go over on how to add them to your videos in Premiere Pro, Vegas Pro, and DaVinci Resolve. Let's start with Premiere Pro. All right, so for Premiere Pro, on your project, head over to File, come over to Import, and look for where you rendered the file. Select the first image out of the sequence, make sure that image sequence is ticked, and click Open. Now that the file is imported, Right click it, head over to modify and click on interpret footage. Where it says frame rate, make sure you check assume this frame rate and type 60 and then click OK. Now, whenever you put it on your footage, it'll play itself as if it was a video. And you can also just easily resize it and put it wherever you want in your video.
All right, that was super easy. Now let's do it on Vegas Pro. Vegas Pro is probably even easier to add it to. All right, on Vegas Pro, go over to File, select Import, go to Media, look for your rendered out sequence, select the first image, make sure Open Sequence is ticked, and click Open. On this part, I usually leave the settings as it is. Just double check that the frame rate is set to 60 and click OK. And here it is. Now you can just click and drag to wherever you want and let it play. Next up, we have DaVinci Resolve, and DaVinci Resolve is a tad more complicated, at least for me, because it's the one software out of the three that I have the least experience on. I'm still trying to learn it. Open up your project in Resolve, head over to Media, and look for where the files are. In my case, it's my desktop. The render should automatically be in a video format. Click and drag to the media pool, then head over to Edit and drag it to your timeline. You can see that it's just a little bit slow and that's easy to fix. Right click on it and change clip speed. Change this to 60 frames per second and there you go. Alright, there we go. That's how you add them to your videos. But now let's render them as WebMs so we can add them to our streams. So assuming you already downloaded and installed the plugin, let's first do this using Premiere Pro. Make a new document, doesn't matter what it is, we're just gonna make a random one. Then head over to File, Import, and import the image sequence. Once you're done importing, it'll show up on the project files. Right click it, go over to Modify, and Interpret Footage. On the frame rate, check Assume this frame rate, and set it to 60 and click OK. Then just click and drag this to make a sequence. Next, go over to File, Export, Media, change the format to WebM, and then click Match Source. Select where you want to save and turn off Export Audio since there's no audio. Then click Export and let it do its thing. All right, now we're gonna be doing a similar thing in Adobe Media Encoder. I'll be completely honest with you guys. I learned this on the spot. I did not even know you could do this with Adobe Media Encoder. So this just makes all of it so much easier. Open up Media Encoder, and before we do anything, this is a pretty important step to do first. You can change this back after the render if you want. Head over to Edit, go over to Preferences, head over to Media, and then change the Indeterminate Media Time Base to 60 FPS, and then click OK. Now go over to File, Add Source, look for your PNG sequence, make sure that PNG file sequence is ticked and then click open. On the queue, look for your render, change the format to WebM, click the preset, select where you want to save it to, in this case, my desktop, untick export audio, head over to video and click match source and then click OK. On the top right, there should be a little green arrow, click that and let it do its thing. There we go, two super easy ways to convert your PNG sequence into a WebM. Now let's add it to our streams. All right, this is super simple to do. And if you've watched my previous tutorials, you know there's plenty of ways to implement this on your stream using things like touch portal, chat commands, channel rewards, and much more. All right, open up your OBS, head over to your sources, click the plus, and let's add a new media source. Name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it as media. On where it says local file, click browse, and simply just add the WebM, and then click OK. And there you go. That's how easy it is. Well, there we go. Congratulations, friend. You successfully made your very own lower third. You've not only made your very own lower third, you've also learned how to add it to three different pieces of software, how to convert it into a WebM, and how to add it to your own stream. Hey, I hope this helped you guys out on sorting out some lower thirds for your videos or your stream. Let me know down in the comments if I helped. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you so much for your time. I hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way, shape, or form. If you have any questions and want to learn more, come check us out on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays starting at 4 p.m. Australia Western Standard Time. And I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. Catch you all later.